All right, well, we're switching things up a little bit here. I still have a lot of my Ontario native trees to repot, but I wanted to do this first. I've got a bunch of pawpaw seedlings in here. You can see the roots forming. It's like spaghetti in there. I got 12 of these a couple weeks ago. I've got one, one in here. You can see it's starting to pop out a little bit. Anyways, this one was sprouting when I got it in the mail. So I put it in a pot on its own. The other 11 hadn't done anything yet, but they looked good. So I put them in here with some wet perlite, some moist perlite. And now I'm gonna put each of them in their own individual pots. Got 11 pots up here already filled with a drainage layer. I want to try and do this semi carefully. So I think I'll cut open the bag first. Don't want to disturb anything too much. That's pretty cool looking in there. Okay, so I guess one at a time. How should I do this? That one's pretty long already. Probably one of the biggest ones. Let's put it in a deep pot. I'll bury the whole thing under soil even though even though it wants to pop out its initial leaves really soon. Okay, number one. It's a small one, it can go in here. Three. 
pretty solid roofs on these things. couple I guess I can just use the perlite in the bag they came from. there. Number six. That one hasn't popped yet. Maybe it won't. not popped. Number 10 has not popped. Number 11. We'll just call this one number 9 anyways. Looks good. amount of soil actually. Alright, that's number nine. So these two haven't done anything yet. I don't know, looks like that one's trying still. This one might be alive in there too. This one's different. The rest were, you know, long and oval like this, like a flat acorn almost. This one was small and round like a bean. We'll leave them, leave them in here and see what happens. As for the good ones, we'll call, because we numbered the other ones on camera, we'll call this one number 10. 
even though it was the first to sprout a root. I put it in here. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's been a little too wet for it, but it's at least coming out of the soil. It wasn't doing that before, so I'm pretty sure the root's growing on it. And these ones from top left to bottom right we got one through nine the last well not that one but four of these i think we're left with no three of them we're left with some of the seed popping out of the top there Let's see how fast it takes I'll keep them inside tonight because it'll be fairly cold. They're used to indoor 20 degree weather, so I'll keep them inside until I get those temperatures and then hopefully they'll start growing soon. I've never seen a pawpaw tree before, I don't think, or a fruit, so hopefully I can get both one day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.